So in the governor's proposal, uh, budget proposal, there was $100 million for uh, mental health services for the Department of Education. Um, and we know those services were supposed to go to the school district to provide mental health services and support to our students. But we do know that uh, many of our county and local human services departments already provide uh, those type of services within our schools and our school districts. And so I'm interested to know if DHS is um, partnering with or collaborating with the Department of Education if we are to appropriate this money to ensure that those services are, are provided efficiently um, and encouraging collaboration with our local school districts and our um, DHS agencies to collaborate to provide those services. So interested to see what that looks like. Yeah, thank you, Representative. Obviously, we all know the critical need for mental health services across the Commonwealth now, particularly post-COVID. And uh, certainly, we've seen a significant increase in the mental health needs of our youth. And so uh, it's important that we ensure there are services there for them. So uh, the short answer to your question is yes, that uh, DOH, or DHS will absolutely work with PDE and, if needed, DOH to implement uh, that $100 million should the General Assembly choose to appropriate it. And just also want you to know that uh, you are correct in the fact that there's already a number of mental health services going on in schools. Uh, another piece that is in the governor's budget is a proposed increase of $20 million to the county base funding. One of the things that counties can use that funding for are school assistance programs, which also provide services in schools uh, when the school district allows them to be provided there. So I do believe there's a number of ways that this, uh, this challenge can be approached. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. And, and any way we can be helpful in, in those communications, collaborations, we're happy to do so. Uh, I want to turn a little bit to homeless assistance programming. Um, in the, this proposed budget, it was flat funded. Um, and we know that uh, there is, um, at least in Allegheny County, like we recently opened up uh, a new shelter downtown uh, last year and within maybe two or three weeks of that shelter opening, it was at full capacity, right? And we know that this is a growing uh, issue of unhoused folks all across this Commonwealth. Um, and so I'm concerned about if that flat funding going to be sufficient for the needs that we have around un unhoused individuals, especially with the uh, federally funded emergency rental assistance program getting ready to go out. Uh, we know that people who are on uh, short income that are making it um, month to month, and if they don't have that rental assistance program, we can see a spike in them becoming homeless. And so I wanted to know from your opinion if you think that that flat funding is, is sufficient and what we can do to sort of um, address this issue. Yeah. So housing assistance is extremely important. And for those who may not be as aware, uh, the Homeless Assistance Program helps with emergency shelter, bridge housing, rental assistance for eviction prevention, uh, first month's rent and security deposits, case management, and other innovative programs to help prevent homelessness. H housing is just an absolutely critical need across the Commonwealth, and nobody can be healthy without stable housing. And so this is something we're very focused on at DHS but it's something that we have to take almost a whole of government approach, certainly a multi-agency multi approach to solve. Uh, this is so important to me. I have one special advisor who just works on housing and works across our government with other agencies on housing. I think that um, we can look at lots of different ways to help meet this challenge, and I'm happy to discuss with you uh, you know, if you are interested in if it, there was an additional funds put towards the housing assistance program, what that could mean. Also, I would love to, because in Allegheny County, uh, city of Pittsburgh, this is definitely a growing challenge that a lot of us uh, locally back home are trying to figure out, wrap our heads around how we try to address this. Um, then the last thing that I, I would just say, I just want to send, express my gratitude and my thanks to you and the governor. Uh, a few months ago, you all initiated a program um, for no cost carbon monoxide detectors at uh, child daycare centers. And um, we know what happened uh, last year. And so as a father uh, of two young kids who are in daycare, um, I really appreciate you all uh, lifting that up and highlighting that as something as important. So thank you for thank that. You. Thank you for your service and thank you, Mr. Chairman. Appreciate it.